getting started is the most important bit. It's that first step. How did you, you know, how was it for you at the beginning and how did you kind of accelerate in? As I progressively started using it, I was responsible for introducing it into the business. Um, I started uh, watching Rich's videos, which is a good starting point, and, and anything else on um, Smartsheet Community was a good place to learn about things. And I just realised that it did so much more that I didn't really understand at that time. Um, so my, my way around that was um, my Eureka moment, really, was the template sets. Once I found the template set, then I could really, really moved on from there. I think the first major template I looked at was um, was actually for sales pipeline. Um, so we're looking at a couple of separate sheets here. Um, our, our management daily operations report, which is showing live information for um, site observations and health and safety information, and also training. And we're also looking at um, a single page summary of one of our um, sectors, the retail sector in particular. But health and, health and safety, again, which is relevant to every business. Yeah. And, and just talk, talk, talk to us about that, because if we, if we just focus on this section up here, I mean, this is, that's live information. How has this changed the, the, you know, the working week that, you know, for, for your health and safety manager? Um, well, he, he's, he, you know, he's got immediate information of when, if anything has happened, accidents or whatever. He can get on them straight away. We can we can offer support for, for those things, whether they're incidents or accidents. Um, we we can look across because this is this particular field is reading all, all of our sites, so it's all, all multiple site information. We know he we from this information we can drill backwards into the individual site. Um, we we can warn other people. We can carry out toolbox talks. You know, all driven from this information. So. Um, it's re really very powerful in, um, in in what it's telling us and how we can, how it's, it's all about how we react to it and how quickly we react to what it's telling us. Can you just talk us through through this in terms yeah. of safety form and um, where were you and where have you come, come to? Yeah, so we're, we're looking at our smart smart sheet version of the observa of the observation process, but traditionally and what we had was um, small A5 pieces of paper with, you know, please fill this observation in. You'd go into the site manager's office, find one if you could, fill it in, hand it back to him, it goes in his in-tray, gets lost on, on something else and so on and so forth. And so whether that ever got logged properly or answered quickly, you wouldn't really be certain. The other thing was the information in it. It's not a lot of people wouldn't necessarily want to put bad practice on here and hand it on, on what is their boss's desk, if you like. So you know all of those things were, were issues really. Uh, but when we introduced this quite, quite some quite some while ago, now the beginning of last year, and um, the uptake on it has, has been quite phenomenal, really. You know we, we it's a bit we've got to take into account that we were a growing business. So even two years ago we were a quarter of the size we are now sort of thing. But you know we would get very few of these coming through the process at all. And um, last 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 year we had 230 observations coming across multiple sites and, and indeed from the head office as well. Now, so this particular form now is um, the sheet is up in every 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 site that we have. You can QR code your phone on your phone. To, end, to fill in the form, which is shown on the right-hand side. You don't have to put your name on it if you don't wish. We're quite clear about that. So you, you can do it anonymously. We, we've had a few of those. Um, and immediately that this is submitted, um, it, uh, it triggers a notification to all, all site managers and senior management, operations management. Request for information. Again, yeah. This, this this is something which is big in the in the construction so why just tell me steve before we go in why is this important and then just and let's focus also on how has this impacted your clients it allows via a link on a on a form to enter a request for information which could be something like can you confirm the window specifications um or you know something like can you confirm the size of this door this steel whatever it is so um you can have access to this um all, all projects involve people have access to the form. Um, some of our clients, once they'd seen this process, because we shared it with them, also requested access to this form. So they can now 
um, directly input a request for information to us. And this goes into the process, into the log, which is a standard smart sheet type log. Um, once we've checked that that information request is correct, and it's not something you know that we do have the information for, but whoever raised it wasn't aware. There's just a little sense check. Uh, and then once we do that, we automatically send a request um, to answer answer the request answer the question. Um, as part of that, um, we use generate document within Smartsheet to create the form that you're seeing in the bottom right there. So it takes the information off the off the log and just input certain fields on there. So now you've got quite a professional looking document, standard RFI type document of what the issue is. The a signee then completes online the questions. He can attach files, new drawings, say what he wants, send that back. Um, then the person responsible for the RFI process would look at that. They can either accept or reject that response or ask for more information. Uh, once, once accepted, then the status would change to closed. Um, there's quite a lot of things going on there, but I, I wanted to show this because it really showcases a, a huge amount of functionality within Smartsheet. You know, the generation of the form, third party involvement, generating documents, automated res responses and things. A, a non-answered RFI can literally, could potentially hold back a project for weeks and months. So uh, just tell us about, you know, what, what, what drove you to, to, to reach out and where, where did we go, go next? Yeah. Um, the main the, the main reason was um, the project management office, which again is a template set, which which I'd introduced into the business. Uh, we probably at the time this is maybe a couple, a couple of years ago. We we had two or three projects. It, it was you know all all forecast all forecast to grow, which it did. But at, at two or three projects, four projects, the there is a man, a manual element to to you know copying the file sets. I had standard file sets. And so on and so forth but there's a manual element to that and the more projects I could see coming on board the more of a challenge that was going to be for me and taking me away from you know development of other things so that was when I started investigating um, what other ways there are of doing things. So, so yeah how's, how's this changed things for you on this side then Steve? Um, yeah this, this was a massive change really so as, as, I'd, as tends to happen I'd built up and you know the projects were coming in thick and fast then it was quite hard going backwards, trying to standardise everything and make it all look the same. And that was getting to be quite quite a problem. And part, part of this is so that things do look the same and whoever's looking at it knows where to look and, and what actions to take. Um, so being able to look at, um, uh, at your setup, Rich, and uh, some of the reporting that you had, I wanted to include in, in, in my dashboard as well. So um, that, that ended up being, a, for what we got out of it, it was a a hugely beneficial project for uh, a process for us. So li literally now anybody can request to create a project on the system. Uh, the operations director approves that and within five minutes, you know, 30, 30 um, documents are created and named against the file and they're all there ready to go. Uh, that's, that's quite incredible. Like you can go from one project to another project small to big, you'll see the same sort of information, which um, allows for a much smoother transition and uh, helps us react quicker as well. Yeah. So site dashboards, just just give me yeah. give, give us a quick sense on site dashboards. I think this is again, something which is fantastic that you guys have got in place. Yeah, it, it just forms part of our standard project set. So when the project's created, it creates um, five slides specific to the site. Most of our large sites have uh, big, t large television screens in them, or sometimes they have two. And um, we use a software called Your Deck to to publish these files to to the screens, and they just rotate around on whatever sequence that we want and however long we want them to to be up there. So again, we've got um, a single single source of information. Anybody who comes into the into the site office third party or one of our employees or whatever can take a look at these things. It's, it's all there for people to see. Brilliant, Steve, and I think the, the message here is, I guess the flexibility of when you get started, there's so much that you can do, which is relevant to any business. Yeah. It's about what are your processes? So what, you know, having your people, what are the processes? And then enabling them to move faster. And you guys are just going, well, we could do this, we could do this, we could do this. And it's about knowing when Smartsheet, the right tool to use. Again, it's about, using technology to your advantage on that side.